House of the Dragon, Laris Strong explained. With episode 5 of the show recently being released, we were introduced to a few new characters. One of these characters was Laris Strong. We had two very brief appearances from the character in the latest episode, and he seemed rather ominous to say the least. So with that, I thought I'd break down the character and explain all that there is to know about him. So let's get into it. He is House of the Dragon, Laris Strong explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers on the show and some things from the book. In episode 5 of the show, we saw our first true introduction to Laris Strong in the show, following his father being appointed as Hand of the King. From the off, he seemed like an individual who was sneaky, was prepared to gossip or start rumours, or at least lean heavily in on them. We saw this when he was discussing with Alicent about the tea that Rhaenyra was given, and he positioned the conversation in a way that made it out like she was ill instead of it being used as a way to prevent carrying. I got the impression that he did this deliberately in order to spark a reaction from Alicent and to essentially reveal to her the rumours that were true about her. He stated how when one does not get invited to the conversation, they tend to observe, and in this instance, he was referring to himself. He eventually goes on to be the Master of Whisperers for Aegon Targaryen, and like we've seen with Varys in Game of Thrones, the Master of Whisperers tends to know all of what's going on, due to their ability to observe individuals and also their connections with others that also observe. As well as being the Master of Whisperers for Aegon, he also acted as the Lord Confessor, which is the role as the Royal Torturer for the King, a position that feels somewhat suited for the character. Within the show, we also saw him on one other occasion, and this was during the feast and celebration of Rhaenyra and Laenor's wedding. We saw it cut to him when Alicent walked in, and he mentioned how the colour of her dress was something that the Hightowers wore when they were declaring an act of war, showing again and further supporting the idea that he's involved in the drama, is knowledgeable on it, and likes to be amongst it from afar. He seems to be an individual that you would want on your side, as it seems as though he can use his words as a dangerous weapon, as he's an individual that knows how to use what he's seen. This leads him to be an individual that doesn't carry much company, and tends to be alone, he has his brother Harwin Strong, who we saw was introduced to us in episode 5 of the show. And he also has his father, Lionel Strong, who is the new Hand of the King following Otto Hightower's departure at the start of episode 5. Laris was born with one of his feet twisted inwards at birth, which is why we saw him walking with a limp and with the aid of a stick when he was with Alicent. This was something that led him to be on his own and to develop the knack for listening and witnessing all that was going on around him. It was also something that led him to be known as Clubfoot, He's from House Strong, and during the Civil War that set to erupt in the show, he's somebody that you can expect to see sitting under the Greens in support of Aegon and as part of his council. Although there are elements of Laris that showed that he wasn't 100% loyal to the King. I feel the show is going to use this character like a Littlefinger or a Varys in the sense that it will show the harm that can come from the use of words, manipulation, and the stirring of a pot that contains information that can cause harm. Despite him sitting as part of Aegon's council, the close relationship that he seems to have to his brother and his entanglement in a rumoured relationship and fathering of Rhaenyra's children could be something that does test the character from time to time when battle's on the cards and when his loyalty has to be chosen. I'm intrigued to see which direction he's going to go in and what potential chaos he could cause. So, there you have it. House of the Dragon, Larry Strong Explained. If you want to see more videos on House of the Dragon, such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions, and Character Breakdowns, then click on the I button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you'd like to give me a show or movie that you'd like me to review next, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think of the character so far? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.